welcome back to part two of Let's Play for Halloween, Pokemon Lost Silver. So apparently I showed you the full story, but there's a catch. There's a hidden game within the game. Yes. So let's play once again, Pokemon Lost Silver. For right now, I'll be showing you exactly the same way you start off the game, except it'll be a tiny bit different. And, well, it's not live recording because I couldn't pull that off, so I might just probably just tell you how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, looks like we're back here at the red part of the game. That part when you, you know, find a hidden Bellsprout Towers ladder and you go all the way down. And every time you go down, the, you know, of course, the, the lighting of the game starts getting darker and darker every little perhaps mile in the game even though it's not a mile but whatever anyways um so this would be just like a totally different thing and you're probably wondering shadow what do you mean a different game right here if you press yes you you see what happens in part one but if you press no then this is what happens so uh as you have to keep on saying no and no and no other than saying yes just keep doing it and it says hurry has that's it hurry has what I, I don't know and now apparently I can walk backwards which kind of uh, was weird but it, I didn't really care at the time so I just went up kept on going and going and going and going and I believe that the the the, the the writing was just the same. It did not happen. Nothing was happening. As in, you probably will be seeing right now, of course. And then finally, when we go all the way up, I finally see an exit. So, I, I do that, and I seems to be in this weird-looking maze that I just didn't understand. So, I just... I went with it. So, I just kept on going to the maze. Well, with the maze, I should say. And, well... It's not even that difficult of a maze. It's so easy, <laughs> a caveman can do it. But, um, wow, whoa, what? Uh, forgot about this. Uh, right after you get out of that maze, you you see Ash, the Trainer Red, what happens at the end of Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, Silver, Silver. And you have no eyes. This is very creepy now. Please has P. What does that mean? I don't know. The audio might sound different, but I'm actually reading very slowly in my head. Question mark. Now, I'm going down and going down the stairs, and I see an exit, so I'll take it. Now, it looks like we're in Victory Road. What am I doing here? Is it making me... This is what I think, actually. I think it's taking me back to the actual whole entire game, and then... Like reliving what you did and saying, "Oh, this was all pointless." Like, what? Why did you even bother doing this? It's thrashing about. Who's thrashing about? I don't know. So I look at my Pokemon to see if what the spell says D, E, N, Y. Uh, I thought I should probably spell out die, which that's why I went back. But it actually spells out deny. And Cyndaquil is not actually called Hurry. He has no name whatsoever. It's just his plain name, Cyndaquil. Once I realized where I'm at, I realized I just got out of Mount S Mount Silver, I believe. So, and now I see Silver himself, and I talk to his Pokemon, which says where. And this is why he says where. You'll see in a second. Right here. He has no eyes whatsoever. His, it's just like yourself, Gold. And well, I go to attack, but there's nothing there attack but it looks like it opens up with like an item so I, I use attack whatever whatever that is enemy is fell asleep just like that and now apparently I have nightmare so I'm thinking I used hypnosis without even knowing enemy is fast asleep still but something's happening because I used nightmare it died and it turned back into a total dial which was really really creepy you might want to know what is going on? I don't even know what's going on. And now, you, all you see is silver, and silver says, even. So now we're even. Is that what it means? Are we even? Like, 
Like even Steven? Or even like something happened when we beat him in the actual main game of Gold Silver Crystal. So apparently when I tried exiting, it just randomly flies me to looks like Goldenrod City and I talk to this girl and she just tells me D. Okay. Pointing out, I don't know the alphabet that well, don't know, so bear with me. That, I believe, spells help. H-E-L-P, help. At first, that's why I was just staring at the P, I thought it was going to spell out hell. But nope, it says help. Then it says I. Alright, so, the girl says whatever, and then I, and then looks like that's a W or something. Okay. Uh, I think that was Professor Elk, and the other person I just barely talked to was Professor Elm, so who's the girl? Oh, hey, it's Bugsy! Let's go talk to Bugsy. He tells me why. Okay. Once that happens, he disappears. Very strange. So I, then I find somebody else, and he tells me O or H. No, I think that's H, yes. So I'm kind of confused. Once I'm just looking around, but... Still, I'm in Goldenrod City, still kind of confused what's going on. Of course, this is a creepypasta game, and I didn't even know about this until I actually started messing around. And I got R. Okay. The person I talked to just looked like a gym leader, but I don't know. So, let's just keep them going. So, now I'm going up, and I see another person. Oh, this... Oh, yeah, that is a gym leader. That gym, that, that person, Whitney, yeah, she's at her own gym. These are gym leaders. Oh, okay. We just barely talked to, like, Chuck and Bryce, Bryson and Jasmine and, yeah, and Whitney, Bugsy, and Faulkner. Well, who is this? Uh, okay, K. Okay. I think that's Lance. I'm not sure. I want to say it is. Right now I'm trying to exit, but I don't know what's going on. It just won't let me leave. So knowing this, I'm still kind of freaked out. That looks like it seems to be Cl Claire. Claire just tells me, well, I don't, actually don't know what that is. I think that's a U. Now I'm just kind of confused. I know they're spelling something out to me, but I honestly don't know what they're spelling out. I should have been paying attention or probably rewriting this in a piece of paper, which I should have been doing right now, but... Um, I just don't get it, which, the re well, the reason I do know why, they're going to tell you eventually, so I'm sorry for spoiler earlier, but yeah. And then, we talked to Rock Solid, right, there are rocks, rock, you know, Metal Gear Solid, but, okay. Now, they're actually going to spell it out to us. W. H. O. Who? A. R. E. Oh, who are? Why? O. You. Who are you? Oh, K. Uh, K. I. D. Um, who are you, kid? So apparently, even though when you beat it, every single gym leader in this game, and professor as well, they have no identity who you are, which is really creepy. Now I'm just trying to find a way out. What am I supposed to be doing? So I realized we should just go all the way up, which I tried before, and automatically it starts making me fly again. And whoa! Who was that? Was that Red? So I go follow him, and this seems to be the, uh, the, the, the bell tower, which you go save ho ho uh oh Or not save, you capture, or battle. For as forgotten memory, save you. I don't know what this means. So I look around the bell tower, completely looking different, and it makes me go nowhere. So I go to the middle, it says, go away! And I decided no. So I went to the right, which reminded me of the bell spell tower, and well, that's actually where I'm at right now, the bell spell tower. And that was a complete waste of your time, so thank you for watching this episode and finale of Pokemon Lost Silver. This was a creepypasta, not made by me. It was a ROM. You can find it on Google if you look it up. Uh, thank you for watching. This is just very good, and I don't know. I liked it, but it's not really a game that you can you know Pokemon, Pokemon RPG and stuff, but it's just a little fan, so.
thank you for watching and i see you guys in the next whatever i do so thank you for watching pokemon lost silver i've been exceeding shadow and thank you chaos control <laughs>